Hey, you guys. Welcome back to Hit Up Rugby League. Today, we don't have an interview, but we have Liam making his long awaited return to the podcast. How have you been, Liam? Uh, you know what, mate? I've, I've gone, gone through some struggles, but I'm here. I'm back to talk some rugby league and get into this. And how about you, Connor? Yeah, no, nah, I'm always just ready to get into this, eh? Yeah. So what we're going to do is I talked to the We were having a debate on our Instagram chat this morning about just things about our team. And I told the boys, there's a thing in football that I love, like as a football fan, they do combined 11s. So say there's a big Man United-Liverpool game coming up. They'll do, let's do a combined 11 where you have both teams to pick from and you got to pick one team from it. So I thought, let's do a Warriors, Cowboys and Knights combined team. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of debates and it's an interesting one because all three of our teams are expected to be in the bottom eight this year. Like most people are putting all three of our yeah. teams in the bottom eight. So I don't, about, I don't know about that, Josh. Let's just wait for the season to end, eh? And then we'll, then we'll, then we'll, then we'll go. Okay, sweet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah so it's interesting I feel like it's going to be pretty even between the three teams but we'll see how it goes I feel like Connor's a quite good debater so we'll see how Connor tries yeah. to find the Cowboys in as possible <laughs> should we get started Connor yeah for sure so um, basically like Josh said we're all picking our, picking our teams of our combined three teams which is Cowboys, Warriors and Knights so to get started Obviously, we're going to start with the fullback position. Yeah, boy. I think I'll take it. I've, I've gone with Kalen Ponga just due to experience. I think Hamaso and Reese Walsh have the potential to be better, but for, at this very time, I've gone with Kalen Ponga. Who have you gone with, Liam? Mate, like, you've got to go Ponga, honestly, out of the three of them. Like, to be honest, if we actually rate the performances last season, I think Reese Walsh had probably one of the best seasons out of all three. But I've only gone Kalen Ponga, as you said, for that experience. He's played at higher levels. He's played national uh, for the national Australian team. He's played for Queensland. He's played, like, just way longer. And Reese Walsh is only, is he 20 yet or is he still 19? 19 or 20, I don't know. Yeah, yeah one of the two. But he's so young and he's got so much potential. So, as you said, I think he's got a lot more potential. I'm going to go bigger and better. But at the moment, I you've got to go Ponga in that position out of these three teams. Yeah, I've gone, you, Josh? I've gone Ponga as well. One thing just to note to everyone, we're just picking or anyone's available. Obviously, Walsh is suspended. Matt Lodge is suspended. Mm. Braley's injured. But we're just Brayley. going, anyone that can play this season, like that will probably mm. play, can be selected. So just saying injuries aside, but I think we all agree on Ponga. For, we're going to make a combined team between us. So we'll do votes if mm. we have... But that was a pretty simple one, I think. So, yeah, Kalen Ponga fullback. Hell yeah. Great He's start Dolphins. for the team. The Dolphins player. <laughs> oh, 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 we're not bringing this up. <laughs> we are not. I, to be honest, I don't think he's going to go. I got a feeling he's going to stay. But everyone's saying he's going to go. Liam said it first. You heard it from Liam. Yeah, heard it from here first. He's not everyone, going. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. Let's go to the, the first winger. Liam, who have you got for your first winger? Are we going number two or number five? Either or. <laughs> well, you know what? I, okay. We'll go number five. Now, I've got a I've got I've got I've got a a not a home pick here. I've gone a different team, but I haven't gone the Warriors. I've gone the the Queensland Cowboys. I've gone Kyle Fell. I like this man. Yeah. To be honest, the only reason I did it is because of how well he played in Origin. Uh, so I think he's I think he's a good winger. And to be honest, out of I just don't think the Warriors have that. Uh, they got some good wingers, but I just don't think the Knights have some good wingers. And Carl fell has got that experience behind it. Same with Ponga. I've gone for a good experience team. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, I, I also Carl felt myself. Yeah, we're I just, think we're all together. That's not, <laughs> That's just, it just deserves to be there. This is perfect. Just all 17, all th we all have the same team. <laughs> Imagine that would be, this would be the shortest podcast ever. <laughs> what about the other right. one? So the other wing, I actually... Oh, return the favour. What? Return the favour, Connor. Yeah, I, I went Anari Wala on the other wing. 
That's what we love to see on the other wing. Inari is so good on that ball on that wing last year. He didn't get many opportunities, but when he was on that wing, he's so violent and oh my god, I love him. Love him also, dead. the combination with Ponga and out and this team, like that's dead out on the other side. That's tries <laughs> waiting to happen. I feel like every game I looked at, like I wouldn't watch every night's game, but every time I flick the television on to see. Tuala scored, or if I look on Supercoach, oh. Tuala has scored. It just felt like last year, he, he always just was scoring, and I didn't really rate him, to be honest, when I saw him before that, and then all of a sudden it was a breakout year for him last season. Yeah. So, yeah, I went with him as well. We're three from three. This is pretty impressive. I, I this is a great, great back line. I love this. I feel like the centres could be a bit of a... Oh. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've all gone our own teams here. Is that is that the advice we're getting? Uh, oh, what have you what have, what have you got, Josh? Let's go number three. I haven't been biased. I'm I'm staying. I haven't picked a single warrior yet. I've gone. Oh, and Gagai. He didn't have his best season last season, no. like yeah, that's yeah. wise. But I still think he's coming back to the Knights. But I think yeah. It's funny, everyone says the Knights are going to be one spoon, but I've got a lot of Knights in my team. <laughs> but it is their halves is their issue, as we'll find yeah, out. Yeah, and that's yeah, the problem, yeah but, exactly. Yeah. So I've got um, to Yeah, i got to agree with you. Uh, I totally agree with you. He had, he had a pretty... He didn't have a bad season, but he didn't have one of the great seasons, pretty average last year. But I reckon coming back to the Knights, he played so well at the Knights when he was there previously. But now I just feel like that combination... Ponga, Inari, oh my god, that's gonna go. Oh, so many tries, tries galore, mate. Yeah, I think I think people slept on Gagai's season last year. He played really well, and he was also on that left edge, which had the most tries out of any team in the competition. So, mm. Gagai as well. <laughs> I don't know how this is happening. <laughs> I just don't think many people rated him last year because he didn't score as much. I think when he's scoring, everyone was like, oh my God, he's such amazing in that centre. But now but, he's not. Yeah. But the first, we'll see. first item scored the most tries in the yeah. comp. So yeah. you can't. You With can't fault Him, Walker, Johnston last year. It was just, uh, not Johnston, Walker. Him, Walker, Johnston. Yeah. What am I talking about? I was, like, <laughs> myself. I was going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. With Walker inside him and Johnson outside oh. him, you're not going to get as good as that with the Knights this year, but yeah. No, nah, but it should still be a good team, mate. Still be a good team. I'm just going to yeah, say, I'm going to say for this next centre position, I've got four names written down, and I can be convinced on any of them. Okay. <laughs> I, I I've, got, I've going, got a couple of mind as well. I was originally going Aitken, but then I saw something that he's definitely playing second row this season, and I would have had Aitken in, but. Mm-hmm. He's 100% playing second row this season. So I've, well, I'll let you guys try and convince me with your picks and I'll, I'll decide that from you guys. No debate. It's Valentine. Oh, mate. The centre, like, he's going to be deadly. I'm telling you, right, catching the ball, running. Like, he's setting up a lot of tries for Taolangi. Like, it's a wrap. Uh, what are you going to say, Liam? Best? I'm going to I'm, I'm- I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know on a little secret. Me and Connor had a chat earlier. We were talking, and he told me, and I looked this up to see if it was true. Valentine's Holmes was rated the worst player in the Cowboys last year. He had the worst performance out of any of them. So why are you picking him, mate? Oh, why are you picking him? That's why, why he's been. Got... That's why he's been shifted to center. His best season like mm. ever. Sharks on the wing center. And now he's going back to his natural position that I feel like he should be playing at this whole time. And with Hammer inside him, like that's crap. Oh, mate. you gotta, you got to go for the best centre out there. Bradman Hurt. test. Bradman test. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. He like six, what do you play, like eight games last year? <laughs> I can't. He it. is so solid in that, in that thing. Like, I think, like, out of, I may be wrong, but most of those games, he would have got MVP. He got MVP quite a lot in that centre. He was so Alex good. Has cemented a spot in a Queensland team that is so tough to get into. Like the winger for Queensland and scores pretty much every game for them. I, I just think with Be- Best had one good game where he scored a hat trick against the Warriors. 
He played eight games, scored four tries. I don't really – he stat pad against the Warriors one game, and that's it. Like, I, I can't I can't put <laughs> it in, but – I'm thinking the other options. Heku only played like 10 games last year. You can't really pick him. An underrated pick would be Marcelo Montoya, but he's just an underrated player, you know? Like, I'm serious. I was thinking. I'm serious. Uh, I think we have to go Holmes, but Montoya is underrated. Like, he's not going to score the tries, but he ran like 100, 150 meters a game last year, always tackling, always running. But I'm yeah. swayed to Holmes, but. I'm, I think best is not happening. We can't have best. Oh. Yeah, he, I, I think he's got the potential to get good, but I just don't actually rate him at the moment. He was good. Obviously got that game winner for New South Wales under, was that in the 20s? He got like a full try game winner. And um, yeah, everyone's just been overhyping him since then, I believe. So. I feel, yeah, like obviously. He's injured. I feel like he's going to be, but he's always injured. He had that COVID thing where he got in trouble. I think, do we go homes here? There's a lot of questions on his defense and center, but. But if he's, if he's inside belts, got him covered, you know? I don't think there's any <laughs> better options, to be honest. Like, yeah. I would, I think eight is, you know, homes, I was going to say, I was going to say eight, eight wasn't, he played pretty well last year. Yeah, but he's playing he was, second row this year and he played mostly uh, second row last year. So I think Holmes. Yeah, all right. So all we've, right. Got, we've got a back five. It. Back five it. of Ponga, Tuala, Gagai, Holmes, Felt. Agreed? Yeah. No Warriors yeah. so far, but that's going to change in the halves 100%. <laughs> Who do we have? I think we just go six and seven. Who are we have at six and seven? Who do you have at six and seven, Liam? At six. Now, now, as we know, we we we, we said. Uh, did we say this earlier that the, or maybe before the before the podcast? But the Knights don't have a good half, mate. They out of, out of all all of our teams, yeah. They, I admit they've got the worst half this season. So I haven't got a Knights pick. I haven't got a Homer pick. I've gone Scott Drinkwater. I feel like. I just feel like the Warrior. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know between the two of them. Uh, I'm gonna go Scott Drinkwater here. I think he he played a mean season last year. He and to be honest, he's probably got to be one of my favorite players. Like oh, if I had to pick out of the Cowboys, favorite if player. I had to pick, had to pick, if I had to pick the Cowboys. <laughs> so favorite player. That's who I've gone with. And who who do you have him like partnering with Arvsling? See, this is a tough one. I was thinking Johnson, but then Chad Towns. Yes, I don't know. Like, I feel like uh, I feel like Johnson's a bit overrated now. Like, Josh thinks that he's going to come back and be the old Johnson he used to be. He's not anymore. He's gotten older he's not as skillful and as fast as he used to be but i don't know i feel like liam, i could be convinced either way say, liam, last year before he got injured he was top trisis so what are your thoughts on that yeah but but then he got injured like will he get yeah. injured again but in the Town, warriors was injured. it's like uh, townsend was injured yeah the season last so, year, so. no it's I, I could be convinced either way so i'm <laughs> i'll put down fine i'll put down johnson but I could be convinced for Chad, all right? To be honest, it's weird because Johnson and Townsend played with each other for so long mm-hmm. for the Warriors, but that was so long ago, so you couldn't really justify having Johnson at six. But are we saying drink water at six? Are we... Oh, yeah, lock it up. Because I think, sure. yeah, you can't really go Cl- Clifford because he wasn't even good enough to play for the Cowboys. So. <laughs> but I, what's your thoughts on the I, Townsend-Johnson debate, Connor? <laughs> Baiting this, people be talking like it's 2012, 2013. Sean Johnson, it's like he's washed now. He's he's not the same player that he was going to be. Like people think he's going to go back to the Warriors and be like the superb like intercept try, 80 meter runs. He's not going to be there. He's He's not doing player now. He's like the reason we lost. We were ahead in eight games last year with 20 minutes to go, and we only won two of them. 
Johnson's changed now. He's more of a game controller now. Back in the day, he would choke us games. He's now a game controller. Townsend last year choked us like three games with his field goal misses. Like I saw Townsend play for the Warriors last year and I was really underwhelmed with because he got injured, obviously, to start off with. And then he missed. He tried to kick a field goal when we are down by two. Like I would go Johnson, but it's like one of those things where they're pretty similar players. Mm. But I'd go Johnson, obviously. But to, to be fair, I'd I'd back a Johnson, but I just feel like Townsend. He's just more of like a lead. He's yeah. more out there, to, and um, I think that him like outside Drinky will like let Drinky run the ball and he'll control the game. Mm. So that's really excited for as a Cowboys fan. But yeah, I'd back. It's one of those things where if Johnson's healthy for the whole season, I reckon he goes not. Yeah. I reckon he's top 10 Del M if he plays the whole season because no one else in the Warriors, if we no one else in the Warriors is gonna get Del M points. Like who yeah. else in the Warriors, except for maybe Reese Walsh, but to be honest, it's injury. All I'm worried about, I reckon he'll if he's healthy, he'll be fine the whole season. He was top try assist the last two seasons at the start of the season, but it's the injury is the problem with him that it's the same you can talk about with. Chad Townsend, though, like injury as well. So it's, 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 say it's, Liam's the final decider here. This is oh, this is tough. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Johnson. I'm gonna go Johnson just because we don't have any warriors at the team. Yeah, we got so <laughs> bad. He had to do it. <laughs> and to be fair, he's, uh, I don't know. Johnson yeah. captain as well. <laughs> Oh, let's hold on for a second. <laughs> There's a lot of good Warriors forwards this year, so I think we're going to get a lot of Warriors players in the four pack. Mm. Mm. And and I think we can um rule Johnson out for goal kicker. Um, <laughs> Where's our goal kicker? That's oh, Holmes. Oh, Holmes, yeah. I'll take Holmes off. Um, or Caitlin. <laughs> um, yeah. So now we'll move on to the forwards. So we have got our backs, which is Caitlin Ponga. Carl Felt, Inari Tawala, Dane Gagai, Valentine Holmes, and Sean Johnson. Yeah, I like it. This is good. I like it. This board pack, though, is world class, like when you combine all three, I reckon. It's oh. Josh, give us your first prop. Uh, I've gone with number eight, Daniel Saifiti. I have also gone with Daniel Saifiti. Yeah, boy. So have I. Just so consistent. Like, that's all I got to say about him. He's so good. I love him, bro. I mean, he, he, he's captain, right? Or is that Frizzell? Or Clemmer? Who captains the Knights? I think it's Sophie. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's so, it's, it's a co captaincy. It's between Ponga, Fraley, and Saifiti. They're all co captains. Oh, well, the classic co captains. <laughs> leader, just make everyone a leader. It's the classic. <laughs> Well, it's like it's because because they're all the oldest in the group, and they're trying to like get in all the young guys and try and coach them and like help them get better. And it's just their system they're trying at the moment because they've had some pretty pretty shocking shocking people in the past. So they're trying to keep them on the right path. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. I, I think we might as well skip the hooker position because I think we we both oh we all sorry have the same other prop. Yeah. Did you guys with um, Adam Fanon Black? Yeah. One of the great, one of the great props of this. We we had yeah. this debate. I think he's definitely top five prop in the game. Yeah, massive I, worries. I personally think he's on the verge, verge of top five. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think five, maybe. Yeah. Seems like a lot of the Warriors players. It's if they stay healthy, they'll be good. <laughs> horribly wrong this year. If that, it seems like a lot of them. Everyone gets injured. Absolutely, everyone's injured. Round one. A lot of injury-prone players. So yeah. <laughs> um, so, as the hooker, um, going back to the hooker, who did you have for hooker, Liam? Well, I've gone Jaden Braley. Yeah, I've, I've got, he's. I I know I'm very uh, this this sounds like I'm very biased, but no, I just don't think uh, White White Egan. Mm, I think Jaden Bradley's better, but then again, you got to watch out. I don't know how long he's going to play this season. It's up in the air at the moment. He could be out half the season, they reckon. So, um, so I don't know. Depending on his injury, 
but yeah, I'd pick Jaden Bradley. I think he's the best hooker out of any of them. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. Oh, uh, Reese Robson. <laughs> I really did. Oh, Just... no. <laughs> <laughs> the second best. <laughs> uh, he... Are you saying he's not better than Wade Egan? Egan's better. Oh, no. I'd... <laughs> <laughs> he's walked off he's just gone alright well I guess we're continuing this Josh um, yeah. <laughs> so we have Braley in our number 9 position this is a appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome Connor oh. Robson. <laughs> we're titling this podcast Connor walks off Yeah. That's... Connor leaves Connor leaves the head up podcast Oh, there's hey. You're <laughs> Robson. You guys. Why would you go Robson? <laughs> All right. Why Why do you think Robson is better than Wade Egan and Jaden Braley? I, I think Egan's obviously a better tackler, but Reese Robson on attack is so much better. Yeah. Oh. I like, think there's games where Egan looks amazing. When he obviously gets told some games to run it because he'll run it shitloads, but most of the time he's just a passer. Like he doesn't yeah. do any runs from dummy half. And yeah, I, I agree partly with that, but I would probably still go Egan slightly over him. Like, Egan's not world class, but Egan just slows down the ruck speed way too much. Yeah, if he runs a bit more, he would actually be like a world class hooker, but he just doesn't run it at all. That's <laughs> the problem. But. Uh. I feel like it's definitely a good debate to have between those two because they're both like yeah. just pretty decent, but I don't think that he's better. <laughs> Ugh, my personal opinion. But so now we've got the front rowers and the hookers out the way. Yeah. Let's move on second in a row. My first pick is Tyson Frizzell. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I, I would I would definitely be. Yeah, but yeah, he's got to be up there, right? He's been yeah. so good for New South Wales for so long. Obviously, he's moved different clubs all the time, but in like the big games to New South Wales, Australia, he's always stood up, and he's actually scored quite a few tries for. Obviously, his tackling and stuff. He's a beast. Like you wouldn't want to try and tackle him sixtieth minute of a game, and to come back to the Knights, that's probably where he should be. Yeah, like. Great Origin, you wouldn't want to be Dane Gay guy running down the touchline, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we need someone to partner with him in the second row. Who have you gone for that other second rower, Josh? i got a feeling I know where you're heading. Yeah, yeah. Originally, I had this guy in the lock position, but then I realized how am I going to fit the, another guy in? So I put the captain of the Warriors this year, Toe Harris, as my other second row pick. Just so consistent and... Almost like a Simon Mannering, what he used to be for us. He's become that for the Warriors. Yeah. Like, so tireless, 50 tackles a game. It's a pity he's going to be injured for the start of the season. That's going to be a massive loss. But when he comes back, he's just too good to be left out. Yeah, I, th I think the only, like, other options that there were was um, Lachlan Fitzgibbon. Yeah, I was uh, thinking, I was thinking him, but then again, I... <laughs> I I first person I saw on the list was Fitzgibbon, and then I saw Bunty at and I was like, "Oh, yeah. not off Bunty at all, sorry." Um, Tucker Harris, and then I was like, "Yeah, he's got Tucker Harris." Yeah. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it was close. I'm saying that he's. Oh, it was off. close, mate. It was close, mate. <laughs> oh, no. We're we're in a good close. Fitzgibbon and yeah. Fitzgibbon played like eight games last year. Fitzgibbon <laughs> is, is up there, mate. He's right up no. there. If I was talking about close, I would have said Helium Loki, but I also went Tohu. So I think that's that's a wrap for Tohu. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty obvious. I think that's good. And then Locke's pretty obvious as well, even though he might not play Locke this year is what they're saying, but we'll put, pick him at Locke. Who have you got? Who have you got? Liam? Oh, I thought you said oh. oh, I've gone. I've gone Mitchell Barnett. Smart. I've had enough. <laughs> Liam's become a meme again on the podcast. Not again. Oh, mate, he's got to be up there. 
Who? Oh, Bar- Barnett? Yeah. Have you forgotten anyone, do you reckon, or...? Well, there's, there's a few options up there, but... Oh, well, oh, I love Mitchell Barnett. He's such a class player. He what didn't a... make it on my bench, Mitch Barnett. <laughs> he didn't even make it on my bench either. <laughs> who, do you know who you're missing, Liam? Like, that there's a guy that people would put? Just kind of a goat, like... Yeah, Liam, what a maybe? Starts with J and ends with Ace and Tamalolo. Oh, mate, I was thinking Tom Lolo, but nah, he's, he's too oh. old and not cut. I got Instagram. It isn't, isn't, what, isn't, isn't, isn't what he used to be, mate. is isn't what he used to be. Even Connor, even Connor, you tell me all the time. You're like, oh, I don't know about Jason Tom Lolo. You're scared of his injuries. You're scared. He's just not the same. But, but Barnett's better, right? It's because his minutes go. <laughs> he's not a minute. I, I, and he won't. <laughs> to be fair, if Liam put Tamala up prop, I wouldn't mind it because that's where he might play this year. But have you put him at least on your bench? I have him on my bench, but oh, I was oh, thinking oh. I was I I I have well I have I was thinking him there was between my props as well, but then again, I did I actually have next next to my um other n- number ten I have uh mm. Jason Tamalolo, but we've gone someone else, so I've decided just to not have him. I'll Illusional Knights fan. This is just biased. To... Well, hey, let's just count how many Knights we've got, because you guys have agreed with a lot of Knights players on this team. Okay. So, <laughs> run, Josh, run us through the starting lineup. We've completed... Wait, we've got Tamalolo, right? Surely. Yeah, yeah. I've yes, got yes, we have. We have. We have. The yeah. Delium winner, Barnett Delium 2022, who first... Uh, we've got Ponga, Tuala, Gagai, Holmes, Felt, Drinkwater, Johnson, Saifidi, Braley, Adam Fanua Blake, Tyson Frizzell, Toe Harris, and Jason Taumalola. With the bench still to get picked. I think we can just run through the bench pretty quick, to be honest. It's not that big. I feel like they could all be quite different, but do you guys just want to, Connor, you want to run through your four players on your bench? or? Yeah, yeah. Um... So at 14, utility, I went Kurt Mann. Uh, I think that he just should come off the bench always. I know that the Knights are obviously short on numbers. I think that he should get the starting nine spot over um, Chris Randall, but it is what it is. Um, I've got Bunty up for Ooh. He's just a hard ball runner, gets the crowd into the Ooh. game, team into the game, hard runs, and I think he's a good player as well. I think he should come off the bench first grade. Uh, and then I got Ruben Cotter, a very underrated star for the Cowboys, such a tough ball runner, not scared to get hit, not scared of no one. So he's got to be in there. And then I've got the Queensland prop, Cohen Hess. You've heard it here first. He will be starting Queensland this year, Boom. Cohen Hess. This is really interesting because uh, I have none of those four in my bench. All right, who do you got, Josh? <laughs> this may sound a bit biased, maybe. <laughs> I've gone with. I have put Jazz Tavanga slash Kurt Mann, but I put Jazz Tavanga above 14. You always need a bit of mongrel and a bit of sin bins and stuff. You you want a bit of that. Um, Matt Lodge at 15. I reckon he's like well, cl- obviously he's suspended for the start of the season for punching, but I think he's really awesome. Like I wasn't expecting much when we signed him from the Broncos, but he's a workhorse. Then I gave Liam a bit of a go with David Clemmer. Yeah, you, you like that, Liam? And I then love I had it. I love Ben Murdoch Masilla slash Cohen Hess. That's, yeah, I did a lot of slashes, but that's my fault. <laughs> I mean, Liam rounded off, and we'll try and work out how who our bench is if we you have any doubt. Well, well, I've gone the same as you, Josh. I've gone Jess Savanga in that utility well, role, number 14. Number 14. Number 14. Number 14. Let's go. I think, yeah, I think I got to say, you just got to round up, you know, got to round up the, the, the game, you know, chuck him on, and he'll. He'll create some drama on the field. And I have gone, you guys hate me for this, but I have gone Tom Lolo on, on there as on the bench as well. <laughs> Just that doesn't matter because we've already put him in there. And I have gone Bunty a Yeah, I like it. I'll have... be in the team. Ahead of, ahead of um, Matt Lodge. Well, I've got 
slash Matt Lodge. I'm like, I don't know. The two, I don't know. Those two are my last one. So they're like, I don't know where they go. Because Lodge is a starter, but it's like, if he doesn't make it into the starting lineup, can you put him on the bench? You know, that's what I don't know. I I I was going off like kind of has come off the wall. Yeah, so we'll go Bunty then. Because obviously Lodge would be ahead of Bunty, but he would never come off the bench, so... So we need. So we at the moment we have Jazz and Bunty, and should we go Hess because we I mentioned Cohen Hess, so and Connor yeah. obviously had him. So we have Jazz, and then, Bunty, and Cohen Hess. So we probably need another prop, maybe or another second roller. Because uh, I went, I went Ruben Cotter, and then who was the other person you went? I went David Clemmer. Oh, is it, who do you oh. pick? Like, <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or Ben Murdoch Masilla. I'll add that in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go Clemmer. <laughs> oh, but Clemmer starts. Oh, so we couldn't really. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We really I was do. say, I don't know. So we have to be so, so Ruben. Who do we say? Ruben Cotter. Ruben. Ruben. Mind you, I'll just remind you. Ruben. Over Murdoch Masilla. He played ten yeah. games, scored at six tries. Murdoch Masilla, another injury problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. So we got Cohen Hess at sixteen and Ruben Cotter there. And then at 18, Liam. Oh, um, this is awkward. I haven't done an 18th, man. What are I haven't done an 18th. Man? Yeah, what are we based <laughs> yeah. All right, Um, An 18th, man. Who would be an 18th, man? <laughs> don't, uh, worry. don't worry about it. There's no point. Uh, um, so for the, bench, for the bench, I'm just checking. Jazz, Tavanga, Bunty, Alfara, Cohen, Hess, Ruben, Cotter. Yeah. yeah. Chuck, 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 a, Chuck a Warriors player. I don't think we have enough of them on the team, Josh, for 18th, man. Oh, actually, Chuck, yeah. we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six Knights players. We have one, two, three, four, five, six Cowboys players, which means we have five Warriors players. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we have six, six, five. Because the bench, two from the Warriors, two from the Cowboys. And we'll just explain again, the bench is bench players. We're not picking guys like Clemmer, uh, Lodge. But, yeah, that's our team. There wasn't as much drama as I thought. The Jason Tamalo, Mitch Barnett thing is a bit of drama. But I thought there was going to be a bit more debates on random players, to be honest. But, yeah. Uh, it was It was kind of, yeah, I think, I think we all just – kind of had the same idea same mindset and yeah it was i thought the same as you josh i thought it's gonna be a bit more debate but it is i feel it is. i feel like you watch your team so closely each and every, you know who performs and who doesn't and like mm-hmm. someone's someone performs better than someone else it just like really messes up your mood eh? yeah but uh, yeah that's why i think you- like as a warriors fan i think warriors fans would be real shocked that Bunty's ahead of Murdoch Masilla, you know, but just because we watch a lot of, like, we watch every week and see, mm. but I think I, I'm pretty happy with the team, to be honest. I thought it was going to be real heavily, because when I first I was like, I thought it was going to be heavily weighted Cowboys, to be honest, because I thought Connor was just going to pick every position Cowboys. <laughs> the thing is with the Knights, they actually have a sick team apart from their halves. Like, you're yeah, the, the back halves are line, shit. Back line, the four the is good, but the problem is the halves are so important to win games, which is going to be a mm. downfall. Your half, your halves pairing will be um, Jake Clifford and Adam Clooney. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's a shocker. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not, Josh, it's not so good. You want to run through the team one more time? Yeah, we'll quickly run through it. We've got Ponga, Tuala, Gagai, Holmes, Felt, Drinkwater, Johnson, Saifidi, Braley, Vanilla Blake, Frizzell, Harris, Taumalolo, Tavanga, Afoa, Hess, and Cotter. So, pretty solid team. Probably would just make the eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. I think, teams. I think, no, to be honest, I think they'll do a pretty damn good job. Wouldn't they? Uh, That's it's, it's right. good. I reckon they're a good attacking team. The I don't know. Kind of yeah, I don't know so much. Fafidi, Fanua Blake, Frizzell, Harris, and Talmalolo. That's fucking insane. All right. I, I think I think before we should go, which of our teams is finishing first, second, and third on the table? Like, who's going to be top six? Liam, you go first. Who's going to be first, second, and third? 
I'm you about got, to. Everyone is saying the Knights. Well, I think the Knights are going to have a good season this year. I, I got it. And they had a good season last year, and they got some good signings this year. Although we did lose Brayley, which is a huge loss for us. What about Pierce, um, your halfback and your leader? I did love Pierce, but uh, I'm not not too too. Oh, I'm not sad that he's leaving. I'm kind of glad he's. You guys relied on him so much, so like in that finals game last year. We did, and it. Yeah, Uh, I think we relied too much on him. So I reckon, I reckon, Cowboys, Knights, Warriors. What? I I I have to agree, Liam. (laughs) <laughs> I'm going to swap the Warriors and the Knights Oh, oh And Josh is going to go the same no, I'm going Warriors, Cowboys, Knights We'll see um, What we should do I already told you guys Definitely for an episode just before the scene starts There's that NRL ladder predictor And literally yeah. You pick you've, the whole 25 rounds You do your tips every game It probably takes you 15 minutes You click Warriors yeah. beat the Knights round one This, this, this and then it gives you your full ladder for the whole season oh, points and everything. It takes a while to set up, but we could do that. And then we could go on a podcast like this and we go, who do we have in first? Who do we have in second? And that could be our ladders for the year, you know? Like, I yeah. think that would be... Because it's easy to say I've got the Warriors in 10th, but you look at the fixtures and you think, fuck, they're going to lose that. They're going to lose that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you look and they're in 14th and that's just actually how it should work, you know? But... yeah. yeah. I think we're pretty much that's done. Good. Sweet. Yeah, that's that's great. Well, thanks thanks for coming on, guys. It's been a it's been a real real fun debate, even though we had a lot of the same and a few a few hiccups, especially by myself. But um, and a few storm offs and Connor. So that was good good entertainment, mate. But yeah, no, it's been great. Um, make sure to check us out on Instagram. Head up podcast or head up rugby league, oh. and <laughs> and um, check out our YouTube channel as well. And we'll be back next week. Got some guests coming up. See ya. Thanks, guys. Up to curl.